Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be yet another sword deck. I've been enjoying the swords. I don't think they're that effective, but I've been enjoying playing them nonetheless. This one is Monsters Blood Scent. Lots of vampires. Lots of bleeding. I uh, had to make some changes on the fly with this one. I felt that it didn't have any big finisher really, so we stripped out Seahill. It was too hard to get Seahill working, uh, in my opinion, uh, and the uh, Land of a Thousand Tales. We have substituted in Regis and Unseen Elder. I think we might have had to jimmy out one or two other cards to make it fit. Um, we've got a bit of adaptability in there too with our bronzes. It does have quite a lot of bronzes in it, actually. Um, but you can... You can win a nice round one quite cheaply with the bronze cards bleeding. Oh, Ring of Favor. We've got Ring of Favor in there too, just to uh, get ahead and get the um, Erendite ticking on, just to make sure that we stay ahead. Um, and you're building up to a large round three finish with a Neuromancy if you can keep it, and, uh, and Regis, just to make sure that you get a big slam in round three. I was playing it for, well, when we did get it to work, it was playing for 15, 16 points. So that's pretty pretty sound, really. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the deck list. Uh, you guys are finding these videos quite often through the Gwent website anyway, but I'll leave it down there. Um, leave a like and subscribe for some more. Cheers. A few changes. Dumping Sihil out as one of the swords. It's just too hard to get working correctly, along with the uh, Land of a Thousand Tales in favour of the Ring of Favour in favour of Regis. So when we get into a round three, we will have the option to just slam some big monster points down. In order for that to work, we would need, we would need, we would need, not spores, that's fine. Not that. What we wanted to see was our flutter. Used to be I hunted game. Men bring more coin. Um. I suppose we just go for it early. Yeah, that's fine. I don't get any choices, so that's a pointless one to hit with uh, the Hengedi sword. Is that just so you can probably assimilate twice? Oh, you'd proc it anyway. Hey! Yeah, I work. Earth has just happened. Millions of points out of nowhere. I suppose that's okay. We'll nail the um, Cat Witcher with that once he picks up some bleeding. Should have played that on the Melee row. That way he doesn't get pinged. What is truth if not an illusion? Now we have a choice. Do we take this one out? Now, or do we go for Vigo before he builds too high? Let's do that. Let's get rid of this whilst we can. Let's give that one a bleeding. And that one a bleeding. Hmm. 
We can jump ahead here on a pass with Gale. We'll steal the bleeding off one of these two. More assimilate. Nine to get us in front. Now we'll go one more. Let's get Vigo. We'll see Vigo again soon. doesn't even get us ahead. But I think he's 100% passing next. Oops. So we have to just get there as quick as we can, really. He's not. He's really not. You get rid of the vitality. Get out. We've never been ahead, have we? Have we? At all. Fourteen. More points for Regis later, and we'll get there with with Gale again on a pass. <sighs> He's thinking. Okay. Oh, do we quite get there with Gale? What's that space power? Four. With the bleed? Proking twice? With that bleed in addition, yes. Okay. How many points do we get on Erendite? Three. Don't necessarily want that. We don't necessarily want that. We need to bleed out as much as we can to make sure we get Regis here. So let's play. You. I got confused between Proto Flutter and Gale. I wanted it to boost by the amount of uh, of bleeding, not the base power. Ooh. That's fine. I don't want to bet anything. I don't think I need to.
Huh. <laughs> cool. I think that's a bit unnecessary. We'll wait and see if he plays something else. Erendite. Ticking up. Now, is that going to ping twice? Yes. See, that's unfortunate. Because he would like to kill that. But I think we play this now on that. We play Vigo to get the Fledder to bleed this and give that some bleeding too. I'm not learning my lesson about pushing too deep. At all. But I think I have to play a Neuromancy next to make sure that double cross... Well, to get the value out of it, because it's an Echo card for a start. And keep Regis until the end. Uh, just make me bleed more than I bleed you. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Who do we go for? So we go for Air and Dite. And get rid of the Assimilate. Or do we go for more bleed? I think we go for Erendite. Get rid of him. And then just play down to zero. Ah, well, you're not getting any simulate value. That's a bit of a whiff, and this card is going to be pathetic. It's not doing any good in our hand, is it? So, may as well just play it. Okay. How quickly can you make up, quick maths, 15 points? So there's four points there for you. So you need to make up 11 points. But you're getting ping as well. You have to play that last card. This is why I want to push deep, because it hurts a lot. But I don't think we have gained any advantage, actually, because they still have leader charge. But what we do have is lots of points in a short round. And they're going first. And is there anything in here we'd like to see more? No. No, there is not. So this is going to start with quite a big play from them. And they're obviously going to find a good card. Great a great sacrifice. Yep. So you have a choice of three, it's an Eremancy, and you can play whatever you want. And that's Assimilate 2. Now, how much value can you make? 
Not enough. Doesn't that have to be death blow? Spawn seven rats. I don't particularly want to do that, so. Sixteen for Regis. That hurts. That hurts. That was a lot of points for him to get rid of. What was he on? Sixteen? I suppose that worked out. Kind of. Unfortunately. Because Regis is just such a savagely large character. We get the win. I'm happy with that. That worked out alright against the Simulate. Just need missing that finish, that's what he was missing.